just a kid Maybe I just don't fit in I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to go now I don't wanna go to school But I don't get to make the rules Too early, too early, too early, too early in the morning guys what's going on my name is clog cinder crawford welcome back to my youtube channel today um today um this weekend we're going to be reviewing transformers rise of the beast yep yep i went to see rise of the beast um twice this weekend <laughs> i know it's crazy i went to see the same movie twice this weekend yesterday i went to see it with my mom and his husband and I went to see it with my friends, my two friends. <laughs> and then just today, I went to see the same movie again, Transformers, with my stepfather. <laughs> I know it's it's crazy that I get to, that I saw it twice. So yeah, but it was good. I even wore my same Transformers t-shirt. Check it out. So yeah, um, the movie was pretty good. I mean, it was enjoyable, it was sad, and it had funny moments, and uh, pretty a lot of action, and cool stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it was really good. I enjoyed it. I loved it a lot. Even the cast members did a really good job. So yeah, the cast members are the best. They're perfect and they're good. They did a really good job. Ron Perlman did a really good job for Optimus Primal. You know, the Maximal that could transform into a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now Pete Davidson as Mirage. <laughs> he did really hilarious in Mir as Mirage. I mean, he brought the comedy into it, and then he made Mirage kind of funny and and uh, maybe kind of silly. <laughs> I'll admit he did a really good job. But and also the last and best actor, voice actor for the best awesome for the awesome character Optimus Prime, Peter Collin. Yep. Peter Cullen is a really great actor. I mean, a really great voice actor. The best and perfect Optimus Prime since 1984. When, uh, the, when the original Transformers series first came out. So, Peter Cullen is the only and best Optimus. I mean, nobody else can replace him because he's the only one who can do a better Optimus Prime. He's the only one who can do Optimus Prime. I mean, he's the only one who could do best, and I loved him for it. Same thing with uh, Frank Welker as uh, Megatron. I mean, he's the best for Megatron. Well, he didn't just do he didn't just do Megatron. He also did Soundwave. Yep, Soundwave. Cause Soundwave, he make himself make himself like robotic, you know, very robotic. So, so uh, Transformers: Rise of the Beast is like almost one of the best uh movies in the franchise from the from the last six transformers films you know like uh transformers 2007 the very first one that stars shia labeouf and uh megan fox yep yep and also uh transformers revenge of the fallen yep it still stars megan fox and shia labeouf uh-huh. And now Transformers Dark of the Moon. This time it stars Shia LaBeouf and no Megan Fox. For some reason. It's alright. I still like it anyway. And now Transformers Age of Extinction. 
and now and now someone is going to take the spotlight in the next lead role it's going to and it's and it's uh Mark Wahlberg. Yep, Mark Wahlberg is the new lead star in this movie in that movie. Yep, the new hero along with side with the Autobots. Mhm. Mm and now Transformers The Last Night. And it still stars Mark Wahlberg and a young actress Isabella Merced. Yep, that's her name. Isabella Merced, Transformers The Last Night. That means the fifth one. It has Mark Wahlberg and Isabella Merced. Yup. And now, and now a solo movie with, with, uh, with the character in the Transformers franchise, Bumblebee. Yup, Bumblebee got his own movie. He's one of my favorite uh, Transformers characters along with Optimus Prime. And that movie starred Haley Steinfeld and John Cena. Yup, the two actors that star in that movie. So I, I still love the last six films, but mostly I enjoyed Rise of the Beasts. It's hard, it's hard to pronounce it. But yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. I, I enjoyed it twice, and it was really good. It had sad moments. It had, it had like fighting moments. It had, it had conversation moments, and it had... And it had happy moments. Yeah, indeed. And serious moments. So, I enjoyed it. It was really good. I know I keep saying that. It's just that I, I loved it a lot. Because I'm always such a Transformers fan. That's why I love That's why I love wearing this shirt. See? Autobot logo. I wore it twice when I saw the movie. Twice. <laughs> I know it's crazy because I, I got to see two movies in a weekend. <laughs> yeah. So as for me, I've been doing good. I've been going to program as much usual still. Going on field trips, doing stuff, doing job skills. It's been very busy. Pretty busy for me. So yeah, I, I had a good time this weekend with my friends and my stepdad and my mom and his husband. Who got married to. Yup. Yup. It's been a pretty good weekend for me. It has. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this uh, reaction video. I mean, review video, sorry. <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And give me more subscribers, please. Thank you. Keep subscribing me. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Confess it. I've been shaking, I love it when you go crazy You take all my inhibitions Baby, there's nothing holding me back You take me places that tear up my reputation Manipulate my decisions Baby, there's nothing holding me back